Let's close here. John, let, let, me, let me show you a couple more, and, and, and I'll, I'll stop. John 1. The Word became flesh. John 1, 14. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Look at 16. John 1, 16. Of His fullness we have all received grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time. There's that verse I said we're sneaking ahead into the New Testament. But the verse doesn't end there. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. In other words, if you want to know what God looks like, how are you going to figure it out? Look at Jesus. Wrestle with who Jesus is. Did you know that word declared in the Greek is the Greek word for exegesis? E-X-E-G-E-S-I-S. What's exegesis mean? Those who've been Bible seminary and exegesis is to bring out, to mine out of the text what is in the text. And so if you exegetically teach something, then you're walking through a text going, here's the truth that we bring out of this text. The word for declared is exegetical. In other words, Jesus exegeted his father. Jesus took his dad and held him up in front of his disciples and said, here's what dad looks like. And he got to the end of his ministry. In John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, the life, no man comes to the father but me. You know what the next, they say to Jesus, all of that's well and good. Just show us what the father looks like. And Jesus says, how long do I need to be with you until you realize that if you see me, you've seen the Father. So what's God look like? Jesus. The expression of the Father on the earth is Jesus. No man has seen God at any time, John says. But John's not making an argument and then leaving it. No man's ever seen God. That's it. No, John's making an argument and then solving it. No man's ever seen God at any time. But God became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory as of the only begotten of the Father. And He exegeted His dad for us. He broke His dad down and showed us how dad would treat His enemy and showed us how dad would treat His neighbor and showed us how dad would treat His friends and His family and His disciples. And He showed us how He would love and He showed us how He would move. And if you want to know what God looks like, watch Jesus. He's the answer. He's the truth about the Father. And He's what we ought to be looking for in our day-to-day -day walk. All right, John 17, and I'm done. One more little passage. You can take this one with you. In John 17, Jesus prays a prayer for three people, three kinds of people. He prays a prayer for Himself. He prays a prayer for the disciples that are in the room. And then He prays a prayer for His disciples that are in the conference room of the Hilton Garden Inn in Springfield, Illinois. Truthfully, the last third of the John 17 prayer are for disciples that are not in the room at the time he prays the prayer, which means they're for you, okay? So this last part of the prayer, 20 to 26, is yours. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their words. See, that's us. That they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I am in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them that they may be one, just as we are one. I'm in them, you're in me, that they may be made perfect in one. And that the world may know that you've sent me and have loved them the way you've loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me because you loved me from the foundation of the world. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you. Dad, the world has never really met you. They don't know what you look like. So that's why you sent me. Did you catch that? The world has not known you, but I've known you. And these have known you that sent, these have known that you sent me and I declare to them your name, and I will declare your name, that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I am in them. And so Jesus prays for this room and says, they don't know what you look like, Dad, but I'm going to move inside of them so that they can know you the way I know you. 
Jesus is constantly declaring his Father to you. Wrestle with that. Do it at your peril. Lay hold of that and go to war with it. And I promise you that when you get done, you won't walk the same, you won't self-identify the same, and you'll care less about all of the people who are done with you for the fact that you've fallen so radically in love with that father. The reason why you are so consumed with how others are viewing your walk is because you've yet to grapple with his face. You're still grappling with the version of God that's been presented to you by other people. It's time to tip that sacred cow over and go meet the father.